Hi everyone. This video we are continuously discuss about how the STD RPA solution design document will be in entire structure. So last two videos we saw a lot of the points whatever it was covered in solution design development of RPA. In this video we can continuously see how the solution design document will be fulfilled based on the other structures as well like business continued plan or uh, disaster recovery how rp what uh, how rp will be continuously support this plan first of all i want to inform one thing is in rpa world what would be the bot id so bot id is very very important the bot id must have bot id must have all the important and necessary access to entire and complete application and board runner schedule access encoder so which means so suppose you, you have the website you want to be capture the entire website details through one of the board so first of all in development environment the developer has to access it which means developer id has to be accessed to extract the data through board if we talk about other environments like SAT and fraud or VAT in this environments bot ID will be the part of execution instead of instead of your developer or development user ID for example if you have the website automation website user ID website user access would be part of the bot ID so, so bot has access website and scheduling in control room usually scheduling will be happen through bot runner access
but bot id has to be access the entire part of run and execution part that is the main button for rpa bot id okay let's see how this is the one important in rpa world then next thing we can see what is the dis disaster recovery and what are the parts will include in solution design document for the part of disaster recovery see in disaster recovery when we talk about disaster recovery suppose your bot is running in delhi india so if something the first disaster recovery plan is if something will be happen in delhi how the bot sources and bot configuration and bot databases everything will be run without any interruption the main concept is so we have plan plan one is delhi plan two must be in mumbai or some other location or abroad so the the same configurations whatever it may be you have database structure cluster or mirroring and a control room server access and or else if you are using blue prism bp server code access resource client so everything will be available in mirroring in other location as well this is the one recovery plan disaster and recovery plan and the bcp continuity plan bcp business continuity plan so this is the way the bot can run and bot can schedule without any interruption if anything happens in server in delhi see this is the thing. see here RP solution is a workflow design support process. So it is all about the workflow. If any interruption happen, the workflow ha would be done in the following process. See, first of all, if anything happen, first backup plan will be restore or back out our database the first thing the second thing is you have to restore the control room and system manager then they have things and you have to restore your files you have to restore client and process bot 
if if everything is restored then only you have to run the process and run the bot see these are the things it would be the pre-request for database recovery and uh, business continuity plan how the blue prism control room We have two environments, primary and secondary environments. The primary environment is everything which is in own or native location. The secondary environment is other location which is the part of the mirror. See when you see this system, this travel error system is entirely available between primary and the second environment which means primary and the secondary locations as well so this is the plan for entire site and the entire um, server entire database server and the solution server or main server everything has to be leveraged within the mirroring concept of disaster recovery plan. The main thing is uh, first our main disaster recovery plan is database recovery because all the data will be valuable. The second plan is source or uh, uh, like GitHub, like RSV and whatever it is the source, the source controlled repository restoration, it, it would be the second line and the third would be the path and files of what would be the configurations, uh, if you got the configuration files where the bot has to run, where the bot has to, uh, uh, bot has to execute, where the bot has to um, restore point everything would be the would be in, in the part of the recovery plan and uh, what would be the see if you do the recovery plan and uh, continue to plan the part of std has mitigation and uh, so the risk and mitigation is more important uh, suppose you are thinking the particular The particular area or particular server has a risk then you have to be mitigated you have to be add the mitigation plan as well part of as part of std risk and mitigation would be the complete and entirely involved and entirely important thing. So, how the risk and mitigation will work out here in RBI? What is the risk will be happen in RBI? So, how the risk has to be mitigation? So, for example, delay for RPA bot running is a risk. So how to mitigate this? So you have to be configure delay, which means if bot is slow and bot is not running properly, that would be the configuration must be managed and the delay would be captured here. This is the risk, the mitigation would be configuration. So that kind of mitigation will be available. We can see in next video how the risk and mitigation will work.